Benvenido, welcome, I'm Oni Boy with Delirium Plus, and I'm going to tell you how to play Ghost Getters. You and your group of friends are Ghost Getters. Your mission is to endure the night while scaring ghosts before they overrun the house. This game is suitable for 2-4 to four players ages 6 and up. Let's start by setting up the board. Each player gets a scare card. Find and place the boss card in the boss room. Place sun cards moon side up near the board. Shuffle the deck of ghost cards and place one in a room. Shuffle the deck of gear cards and add one to each player. To pick who goes first, we usually go with youngest player, but you could roll a dice or play rock, paper, scissors. After picking, play clockwise. Now we can start on how to play the game. The game consists of three phases, the rolling phase, the drawing phase, and the playing phase. Starting with the rolling phase, players roll both dice from the set. If two suns are rolled, then flip a moon card, sun side up. If two ghosts are rolled, then draw a ghost card from the ghost deck. Any mixed rolls result in nothing happening. If a ghost card is drawn, place it in an empty room. If no room is empty, then a room root will become haunted. When a room becomes haunted, you remove both ghost cards from the room and place a haunted card in the room. Both ghost cards are placed out of play. You are no longer able to scare ghosts in the haunted room. Next is the drawing phase. Draw the top card from the gear deck and add it to your hand. If the gear deck runs out, shuffle the discards to make a new one. There's no limit to the number of cards you can have in your hand. Finally, it's time to play. In the play phase, play a gear card matching a bottom shape, scaring the ghost in the process. Once all shapes are matched, the ghost is scared out of the house. Scared ghosts are moved out of play. Players may use their ability during this phase. If you don't have a card to match, you could ask other players to play their card. You could ask for help even if you have a card that matches. If no player has a card that matches, move to the next step. Players may only play one card per turn. Let's talk about the end game. If all the rooms become haunted, the game ends and the players lose. If the players scare all the ghosts, or flip over three sun cards, they survive the night and the players win. Now that you know how to play Ghost Getters, I'll explain unique cards and extra ways to play the game. Starting with the boss ghosts, the game comes with two boss ghosts, Gourmet and Melody. Boss ghosts are a bit harder to scare than other ghosts. Players match the lower fears to unlock the rest of the boss ghost fears. Once the boss ghost fears are unlocked, they activate their second stage. I'll use Melody as an example. Once she goes into her second stage, all players discard a gear card. Next, let's talk about unique ghosts. These ghosts use their ability when drawn before put in play. For example, when Jack is drawn, a room is automatically haunted. Earl doesn't have any abilities, but I would say he's still pretty unique, having no ghost type or needing one of each fear. Now that we talked about all the unique ghosts, let's talk about one unique gear card. Once this card is drawn, all players draw one gear card. You know how to play, seen all the unique cards, but still need more? Here are some fun rules you could add. Game seems a bit hard for you and the other scares. Try two sun cards instead of three. Or no boss ghosts. Let's see you're feeling this game's a bit too easy for you. Try playing endless night mode where you remove the sun card and can only win by scaring all the ghosts. Still not enough difficulty? Try adding mixed rolls to drawing ghosts to the board. Thanks for watching and happy ghost hunting. See you next time.